This is the most streamed song. How did I not guess this? This was literally the song. Shut up, I knew it. The 2010s are coming to an end, but fortunately for you, we're gonna be taking a trip down memory lane and looking back at the decade's biggest songs. Oh my gosh, yay! Like the music from the early 2010s, that was, those were all bops. So we're gonna be showing you the top five most globally streamed songs on Spotify of the decade. Oh, and heck get your yeah. thoughts on some of the biggest songs of the last 10 years. I'm excited. I have like a playlist called A Better Time, and it's all just like Jonas Brothers, Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift, One Direction. I'm just excited to like relive my childhood through music. When your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> this is so good. That's so crazy. 2014. I still hear this song all the time. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Oh, I hate this song. I feel like she's doing all the dancing, he's just moving. I just can't believe he's the one doing all this. And that girl is lucky. Like, Ed Sheeran, he's cool. I hear it all the time, it just isn't. I don't like it. It's, shut up! <laughs> so, for Ed Sheeran, I don't listen, I don't choose to listen to him. But when I hear him, I like it. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, what a king, what a guy. Oh, put Ed Sheeran on Dancing with the Stars. So honey, now. Take me into your stars. I remember that being like a, a joke thing. Good song though, it's a good song. It is a good song. Just got annoying because it got so popular. I used to like cry to the song when I was like, what, like 12? And I'd be like, I actually wasn't expecting that one to be on there, but I can see why Ed Sheeran is great. It's just such a nice song with great lyrics, great melody. I remember singing this at a sixth grade dance with all my friends. He made like the perfect song for like walking down the aisle. I remember when I first discovered Ed Sheeran, it was A-Team back in like those like real sad boy Tumblr days. So crazy how popular some artists get like within 10 years. So this track appeared on Sheeran's second album, Multiply, which was released in 2014. And the single spent a whole year in the UK top 40 and was the first song to be streamed over 500 million times on Spotify. Do you remember what you thought about the song when it maybe like first came out? When it first came out, so that's like, I think that was like five years ago. That's that tweener stage, so you wanna, like you like it, but you're not gonna say that you like it, but you know you like it. I was really in my boy band phase. That's where I was when I was 14. Ed Sheeran, I feel like has like a similar style to that. Everyone just got a phone and it's like, oh my gosh, look at this song. So it was really, really popular at the time and it's so good. So before we move on, do you think you can guess which song is gonna come in at number four? It's gonna either be maybe Ariana Grande. Billy, of course, has to be somewhere on here. Like the Chainsmokers? That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god, I forgot about this song too! Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I knew it. 2016? Felt like yesterday. <laughs> I love chain smokers now. I just got to pick them up this last year during my uh, Zeph phase. This is another song that I could not get out of my head. Oh, oh, hi. Oh my god, Halsey's so hot. I would say I'm a little surprised by this one for it to be above Ed Sheeran. Ew. Okay, I've never seen this music video, it's a lot. Oh, me closer. In the backseat of your road. <laughs> for... Dude, literally, this like section of lyrics too, I was like, oh my god, like his mind, like oh my god. I love Halsey, like I've always loved Halsey. She showed up in my artist of the decade. This was when uh, Musically came out, right? I'm, we're going, we're going memory lane. 
and the song became really popular. Dude, you're like unlocking levels in my brain that I like totally forgot about these songs, but obviously as soon as you play them, I know like every lyric. I remember like exactly what I was doing when this music was going out. Number four is Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey, and the track was released in the summer of 2016 and stayed at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 for 12 consecutive weeks. Wow. Again, I'm really shocked at what an international success this song was. In that month, um, they blew up. Like, it went from nobody really knowing them to everybody like, oh, did you hear that? It's like, you don't know them, you're weird. So like, um, I think that song gave them a lot of recognition that they deserve. <gasps> oh, yay, Posty! I'm happy about this one. I love Post Malone. Shut up, I knew it! This is also one of the most streamed songs. What? All my got this song is a bop, though. Like a in bag. Yeah, I mean, I like Post Malone for a while. And this song was literally everywhere, everywhere. Everybody knew uh, Savage's verse. I think the reason why this one was so top is because 21 Savage was a part of it, too. This isn't a very interesting music video. I'm with the band. That one's a good song too. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't hear that many people playing that one. At the time, everyone was like, have you listened to his song? Have you listened to his album? Just overall, Post Malone seems like a cool guy. I mean, his music has been really popping off this year, so. Make, it really does make sense. So at number three is Rockstar by Post Malone featuring 21 Savage, which reached number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 in 2017, and it reached the top spot in several other countries, including Australia, Canada, Portugal, Ireland, New Zealand, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark, and the UK, just to name a few. Just to name a few, awesome. Music is so international now because everyone's just streaming it. Like you can just go on Spotify and like, look up your artists, or you can use like Apple Music. There's like tons of platforms now. There are no borders to music. Yay! There, what? Why didn't I say this earlier? Oh my gosh. I don't play, streets not safe, but I never run away, even when I'm away. OT, OT, never more try to let go OT. I pray to make it back in one. My opinion, I think Drake, was the best artist of the decade. That's why I need a one dance. Thought I'd see in my hand. I can still dance to this song. Some of my best friends are really into his music. And I do see like his recorded music is really good and really catchy, but I don't like this live version. I want it to stop, kind of. One more time for I go. Higher powers taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. The songs with like really simple melodies are so catchy because it's just easy to remember and like you just focus on the lyrics. One more time I go, higher powers taking a hold on me. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> no, no more dancing, please. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I remember that song. It played everywhere though. I did get sick of it quite easily. That is definitely a top song that I rem I was playing all the time. 2016 to like 2017, he was putting out so many bops. So many people were into him when I was in high school. So as you may have noticed, One Dance is actually the only song on Spotify's list that doesn't have an official music video, which is why you just watch the SNL performance instead. Yeah, I noticed. I was like, hmm, this doesn't really look like a music video. So I guess like in a sense, it probably did drive more people to go to Spotify or Apple Music or whatever streaming platform that they have to listen to it because they don't want to listen to the version but also like again for example like Ariana Grande's music she makes hella music videos and releases it and both of them always do very well the club isn't the best place to go Ed Sheeran <laughs> oh my god it's another Ed Sheeran what this was literally the song my friend said fun fact this was my alarm song for like a year. I think it's like a decent song. It's vibing. You get the beat. Everyone played it. And everywhere. I just, I just didn't like it. Girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind. But no, I hate this song too. What am I saying? I just, I, Ed Sheeran, just, I just don't like his music. Ed Sheeran is making that shmoney. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm in love with the shape of you. Look at him going off. Athletic king. Also, is it weird? I feel like it's. I feel like it's weird. You know, staring at a girl at the gym. You know. Last night you were in my room. Ouch. It just annoys me. I don't know. It's just not really pop. It doesn't really have a beat to it. It's more of like a rap beat to a pop song. Wow. Yay. I'm happy for him. I'm kind of glad it wasn't Senorita. <laughs> this is the most streamed song of the 2000s. Like, this year also counts as the two. What? Now that I think about it, Ed Sheeran was popping. Like, in these, f like, 2014, 2015, 2016, all the way to 2017. Spotify's most streamed song of the decade is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, which came out in 2017. The song peaked at number one on the singles chart in 34 countries. And it was also the first song on Spotify to hit two billion streams. Mm, two billion. The first one to ever hit two billion. Wow. Why do you think that this song in particular was such a smash hit of this decade? I. It was a very, it was an easy tune to dance to. That's the only reason why I think people like it is because it gets stuck in their head and they just constantly say it and sing it over and over so they want to listen to it more. It kind of mixed in like all, a lot of genres that it's appealing to almost everybody. Each one of them, I understand why they got the place that they did. Like, it makes a lot of sense. Because if you think about it, that was the song of that time. So now that you've seen Spotify's decades list, were there any songs on this list that surprised you? I was definitely surprised by a bunch of them. I was kind of expecting more hits from like the, t the earlier 2010s, but I mean, it kind of makes sense because since Spotify is a lot more popular now, <laughs> that it would be, more recent songs. I would say they all surprised me, to be honest. But I'm very pleased that everybody loves Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran twice, that's what surprised me. And a, a Drake song, not really. None of these surprised me. They were all just like, yeah, I heard those bazillion times. All of them surprised me except for Drake's one dance. That made sense to me. I was like, oh yeah, that song was really popular. I like that song. I'm thinking like Taylor Swift, Lord, Ariana Grande, fucking Jonas Brothers, One Direction, like all those songs. But I feel like nobody, when those songs first came out, it was like, 2009 to 2013, right? And no one was on Spotify then. Everyone was on the radio, so that's probably why those songs have the most Spotify streams, because those got released when everyone started jumping on the bandwagon for Spotify. Like, no one had Spotify until I was in high school. So, finally, we want to know, what is the one song that encapsulates your 2010s? Oh, no. Probably a Beyonce song. I'm gonna say Alina Baraz has been a really big impact and like Sabrina Claudio. Those are definitely artists that I've been listening to a lot. My favorite song of the 2010s was Ophelia by the Lumineers. That was, that got me through everything, every little hardship. And then I'm gonna say Exo Tour Life from Little Uzi Vert, cause that, I think I've played that song more times than any other song. Young Blood by Five Seconds of Summer. It's just so upbeat, so fast, and since I dance, um, I love that song. It just has like a little catchy beat, you know? Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. What do you think is your most streamed song of the decade? Let us know in the comments. Bye! Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FEE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at FEE for staff and reactor Q&As, company news, and so much more. Bye everyone.